next for Jonathan Taylor. Now that the Indianapolis Colts aren't trading Jonathan Taylor, yet, what happens next? The Indianapolis Colts and Jonathan Taylor have had a roller coaster ride this offseason. All signs pointed to Taylor being moved and the Colts receiving draft capital for him in exchange. As the deadline approached, the team decided to keep Taylor because they did not receive a fair value offer, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter. The Colts never wanted to trade Taylor at the start of all this, so seeing things play out this way shouldn't be surprising. The Colts were motivated to move him when the nature of the relationship became public and extremely complicated. Aside from Taylor not being moved, the most interesting thing about all of this is that Taylor remains on the physically unable to perform list. Taylor will now have to miss the first four weeks of the season due to a lingering ankle injury he suffered last season. Taylor, while upset about the contract situation, must be angry because the procedure he underwent earlier in the offseason didn't repair his injury. While it's unclear whether Taylor will complete his rehab with the team or independently, if he continues to show up for practices and games. I'm not sure how he won't be a distraction for the team. Team. The next major deadline is October 31st, which is the NFL trade deadline, and the Colts have until then to find a new home for Taylor. He will then have time to be reactivated out of PUP and can either play or last a few more weeks before having to make a decision on what he will do this season. It's been a long week since the Colts gave Taylor permission to seek a trade, and we're basically back to square one with all of this. I'm sure Taylor and his agent will continue to push for a trade while the Colts front office still wants to see if he can truly get healthy and become the player he was in 2021 again. The Colts hold all the leverage here, considering they can control Taylor's rights for essentially the next three years. While the outcome of this situation is still a little murky, today gave the Colts and Taylor some much-needed time to try to sort it all out. If they don't, I'm sure the situation is likely to be even more complicated if anything else becomes public. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.